Hey guys, I've been BRB for quite some time, but today I have some spicy, juicy content. So we all know how cool the War Machine Tower is. It's like one of the most exclusive towers in the game. And also the spicy and classic big boy walker things. But you guys do not know about this one unit that I have not showed any of you yet. If I type in unit monster, this guy will appear and look at how much health he has. 400,000 health and look at how cool this man is. The animation is kind of broken for the guy behind, but the monster himself seems like it works just fine. So yeah, he has these giant claws. He's like this dragon-like creature and there's a a tower, I I, I assume, controlling him <laughs> the way he just got whipped out. And, it all, and there's also chains on him as well as if, as if he is controlling him. And look at that damage. I'm not sure if you guys can read that, but that's like a thousand damage per claw attack so i'm gonna spawn in just a few speedy kings and if we take a look over here all these speedy kings are basically gonna get destroyed by this weird mushroom the war machine is struggling right now that is garbage compared to this mushroom and look it's gonna swipe in but most of them die just by ramming into them look at that look at how much of a tank that is all of the speedy kings just died I wanna expand that even faster and let's see how many speedy kings we can power up on this monster guy. Oh yeah, and look at the guy now. Now he is struggling to control him. And all these speedy kings are not gonna die. Yeah, see, like now the guy is trying to like control him from not going full rage mode or something like that. <laughs> I think it's actually starting to level again because of how many are like dying in the same spot. This is so stupid, man. This is the most overpowered unit in the entire game. Guarantee not even the mark stands a chance at, at, at competing with this guy. He this guy is just garbage now compared to this mighty monster This can literally one shot a fallen king right now if I spawn in the grave digger Sure the mark will do a lot of damage range, but over time it will lose on its own H However, the monster over here if you have full HP the monster will one shot it dude It's just gonna walk in and kill it yeah, it does have huge claw swing attack as well. I think that's a glitcher now because this is kind of a buggy guy. I, I believe this was supposed to be used, but it just never worked out properly or something like that. Or maybe this is just made for fun. I have no idea, uh, but this is still a really cool looking mob. Uh, and the mark, man, the mark is just no longer the king of special admin stuff. Now it is this guy. Hey, you guys want to see something funny? So if I type in enemy void and I spawn in two of those and I want to place out all these towers as if I am going to play the game legit to, you know, uh, see how bad these towers deal. I went ahead and spawn in four of these monster guys. <laughs> this looks so stupid, man. Yeah, I didn't exactly space them out. It's fine. I just, I, I just kind of want to get the most damage I can, and they're gonna kill these two void reavers right now. It, I mean, all these towers only dealt about forty thousand damage as of right now. That's actually pretty bad considering that we, we even have admin towers here, and they're not doing that much of a good job. I believe the only weakness of his, of his monsters that the soul guys that, that the void will spawn will go right through the monsters and that's what makes it kind of crappy but other than that it, it'll counter pretty much everything else in the game guaranteed yeah these little soul guys they can run right through the monsters only towers that detect stealth will be able to kill them so that is the only weakness in the game towards these mighty monsters and now they're doing a bunch of slash damage uh it deals a good amount of damage, I'm not gonna lie, but it's not a whole lot. Oh god, I, okay, I gotta sell these turrets and place them in the back, because these souls will kill us. That's that's like the biggest flaw right here, guys, are, are the stupid little souls. Wait, and the monsters don't die from the stun thing, I, I think. No, they don't die from the stun attack, and look, they both died right there. And two monsters still survive. One of them has like very low HP, but it's still a lot of health. 67,000 health, man. Yeah, this is by far the most overpowered unit in the game. It has to be. That, I, I know nothing else that is this overpowered or, or, or this damaging, dude. There is nothing like it. I guess the only thing that sucks about it is that it's slow, but that, that doesn't really matter. As long as you spawn it before the they get to your base you're good the other claws can pretty much one shot most units or two shot 
maybe three shot if they have a bit more HP. And you guys want to see something funny here, dude? <laughs> the rage ability didn't even work. I'm gonna spawn like two Fallen Kings. No, the monsters died. No. Wait, did? No, I think it glitched out or something like that. But it does. Uh, it doesn't really matter again. You just spawn a unit monster. I actually wonder if the Fallen King can kill the monster, like the stun ability, because I w wonder if that's what caused it to glitch out. Well, I can't. I couldn't tell because they died, so I I wouldn't know, man. All these gr the Fallen Kiros, the Gregardians died. I just realized his range is 10, which I think this is the maximum melee range a tower can have, because he's basically slashing the air and he's one-shotting stuff. Okay, I'm going to spawn on a Fallen King, and the stunning will... Let's see if it actually kills it, because I don't know. It's going to stun here in a bit, and yeah, it does stun it. And nothing actually occurs to the monster after it gets stunned. No, it looks like so. Yeah, stunning does nothing to the monster. It's pretty much immune uh, to all that sort of stuff. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, I wanted to know if the Void Reaver Stomp will kill, because when, when this guy rages, it'll kill, it'll one-shot a bunch of things. It'll one-shot everything on the map. I'm going to spawn in some marks as well. Because, sure, the monster is OP, but I don't want him to kill the Void. I want to use the Rage. Yeah, there we go. So, the marks died right there, but not the mushroom itself. The monster seems like it only took 5,000 damage. This was... Okay, so... The Void Stomp does 5,000 damage, and that's why it kills the marks. So, if the mark had 5,001 health, they would live, but they can't. Huh, that's actually pretty I interesting that the Void Stomp isn't just... Uh, maximum damage is it, only capped at 5,000 health. That's actually really cool. The more you know, guys. Will the Void Reaver use his speedy ability to escape, guys? The, the guys are just gonna run away from the monster dies. I put in a unit balloon instead of enemy. I, I do want to know, though. Does it hit cliff towers? Or do, or, or do the towers? No, okay. I thought that these guys would one-shot the monster because it, it does that with the marks, but looks like this is not high enough, so it just goes underneath him. Okay, well, I guess, yeah, that's that, uh, that's fair, I guess. I I kind of thought it would be funny just to see this balloon guy one-shot this 400,000 HP monster. That'd be pretty funny, but unfortunately, no, it doesn't do that. As you guys see, Sunny from the Grave Digger doesn't kill it either. Now, who will win, guys? Uh, nine Grave Diggers or one monster boy? So far, one Grave Digger died, two, three, four, five, six, uh huh. Seven, eight, and nine. The knife died, and it still has 40,000 health left over. Nice. That could have killed one more Grave Digger. So, yeah, this is the most overpowered unit in the game for sure. Anyway, shout out to all my tank supporters. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate you guys, especially the big, the uh, big boys. Thank you very much. Um, it's just, it's just so done to see see something this OP. But I, but I for sure will make more, more videos with this guy. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and troll like in a lobby or something like that towards like players who have not seen this monster yet or like for the first time in game. You know, that's like juicy.